this fall, Earth's last room led an educational trip bushwhacking through the forest to a glade complex. A glade is a desert-like habitat existing on the south-facing slopes. On a glade, many creatures can be found, like this one. Stay right there. Slow down, take a breath. You'll have to run, she's not going nowhere. Unless she does. Well, we just ran like half a mile to get the camera. It wasn't half a mile. It felt like it, up right, and down okay. a hill. We're gonna scoot you. Yes. Beautiful black rat snake, all spring loaded up. How do you, how do you touch the female? Uh, size to tail, you can't tell. You have to check internally. Usually fatty snakes with short tails are females. Okay. okay. Generally speaking. Missouri happens to be the very northeastern range of the Texas Brown Tarantula. See the spider webs around it? Oh. Right? There's another one I'll show you that's even better, it's like more obvious. This is... Here, you want to put them on here? She is... You want to just put her in here? Calm her down. <laughs> Let her climb up your arm. She is a female, right? Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell quite yet either. She got spurred. Sweet. Don't blow on her. She's trying to... That's not very good. Um, here, use that. Just let her crawl up on that if you want. I'm actually just put her in the box, Mom. Here. Just trace her into the box. I'm trying to look at those petty. Oh, nope, that's a male. It's a, male. It's a distinct male. Ooh. It's skinny like a distinct male. There we go. Now we can see. Okay. Oh, it's a male. Hold on. Yeah, You'll you calm see. down now. Oh, look at the okay. petty pelts. They're way. big and swollen. Compared. Um, can I touch it? So this is a male. That's it. If we find. No way, <laughs> So tilt it down best way. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, you're okay. Got it. You're okay. good. Now hold your hands flat so it doesn't want to go uphill. Okay. Oh, on your wrist. <laughs> okay, here, Jody. No. <laughs> you did it, Sam. You did it. Yay. It did, really didn't. You didn't feel. Okay, now you gotta. Yeah, I, I, I will. I will. I'm letting you show the kids get a turn first. Can I hold it again? What an again? excuse. I wanna hold it again. I'm serious. No, I'm serious. All the kids. It's like, um, not even a Q-tip, it's softer than that. Hey, can I say that to your mom? <laughs> you should. She flipped. That's the oh, one yeah. we tried. Oh, okay. Oh, he's. 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 Ooh. Now that we got her up, she's chill. Ooh. Oh, they're 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 yeah. Yeah, you can really see that. But it's also like yeah. nice and round this way. Can I hold her, please? Now, she might go right up on top of your face. Just don't freak out if she does. <laughs> We've had them climb up faces.
and she can eat other vertebrates that are smaller than that. But there's one vertebrate that she will allow to come into her burrow and live in her burrow and she will not harm it. Smaller than this. Because that vertebrate, she is aware, actually helps protect her egg nest. And her there, babies. There is one invertebrate that she is too large for that can overwhelm her. Right. And those are ants. Ants can come in and devour on the little tiny baby tarantulas. And so this vertebrate will go in and use its tongue to eat all the ants and keep any ants out of its burrow and thus she'll let it live with her. And this vertebrate makes a funky sound. It's like holding your nose and doing a bang sound. It is the narrow mouth toad. 